last 24 hours, we have tested a total of 305 samples, out of which seven people have tested positive for the coronavirus disease. All the seven are Kenyans. Four of them have a travel history, one from Congo, one from the UK, and two from the USA. In terms of distribution per their counties, we have five of these cases having been tested in Nairobi, one in Mombasa, and one in Wasingishu. Two of the cases emanated from our mandatory quarantine facilities, while five were picked up by our surveillance teams. This now brings the total number of those who have tested positive for the disease in the country to 179. In terms of age breakdown of all our 179 cases, three of these cases are below 15 years of age, 49 of these cases are between 15 to 29 years of age, 114 of these cases are between 30 to 59 years, while those above 60 are 13. And fellow Kenyans, if you'll allow me to really emphasize on this, when we look at our age distribution, this coronavirus disease is actually affecting the more productive members of our society. You can see, like I've said, only 13 are above 60, and therefore a large majority of the population falls below this, meaning we do need to take charge, we do need to observe the various interventions that we've put in place. In terms of gender, four of the new cases are female, while three are male. This disease has shown itself to be blind to our creed, our status, our color, our age, and I dare say even our height. And it is for this reason we are calling for one for all approach as we try to protect ourselves and our country. More than ever before, we need to, look, we need to drop all our titles, our beliefs, our status, our age, and recognize that we need to fight this menace together. We do need to remember, fellow Kenyans, that this is a public health issue that we are dealing with. And therefore, in this regard, all private testing facilities, as a matter of law, and invoking the Public Health Act, are required to share their results with the Ministry of Health for the purposes of monitoring this situation and ensuring that the proper notification is done in accordance with international health regulations. We are hiring 500 more doctors to help us combat this menace. In terms of our local supply, should we extend the current production capacity we have of our medical workers in the country, we shall go an extra mile to protect Kenyans by seeking collaboration also with inter in our international partners to be able to have the right number of health personnel that we require. In addition to the previous measures that we've taken in place, we are adding on a new measure today. Starting today, all salon and barbershop operators must wear face masks while attending to their clients. Further to this, we shall be giving further instructions on how you restrict um, the number of clients you have in a salon to avoid the crowding in our salons and barbershops. We must also ensure that our salons and barbershops have hand sanitizers and their clients actually maintain social distancing and they practice basic hygiene in their operations. In terms of severity, fellow Kenyans, when we break down our 179 cases, one of these cases is under critical care as we speak, and the rest, 178, have moderate to mild disease. However, we do have one piece of good news. One of the patients who was in critical care in one of the private facilities in the country has been discharged to the general ward today. This is a Kenyan who was in critical care who was on ventilator support, he has now been taken off ventilator support and required to celebrate the various doctors who have been aiding in his recovery. Important for us to um, ensure, because this is a public health matter, to ensure that indeed all labs who are conducting testing um, do follow the laid down protocols in terms of reporting any positive or negative cases that they may come in touch with. The ministry is aware and we did uh, see the headlines reporting that um, there are cases uh, positive cases of coronavirus in Parliament. And what we have to say on this matter is that as it stands today and at this time, we have no formal official reporting of these cases to the Ministry of Health. And additionally, we are rolling out mass testing. And this mass testing will actually include testing of the different institutions in the country. And at that time, we will then be able to relate to you what the situation may look like in Parliament or in Judiciary. 
But it's also important to note, even as we invoke the Public Health Act, we are taking seriously matters of confidentiality and ensuring that those, those principles that are governed in medicine are still adhered to. We looked at the various designated isolation and quarantine facilities, basically quarantine facilities, and looked at the proportion of people who tested positive from our testing at the various facilities. And uh, where we had significant number of people testing positive, it was our belief that there was local transmission of the disease, and therefore we treated that as an isolation center going forward. And uh, based on that, the day the positive cases were removed from the uh, quarantine site to the isolation or treatment centers became day zero for the rest of the people under quarantine. However, in conjunction with our case management team, we are reviewing this. And we are also looking at deploying testing on the 14th day or 15th day to be able to see how many of those people turn out negative in each case. We will allow them home as I reported even yesterday, in conjunction with the county health management teams to continue self-quarantine for an additional seven days. For those who test positive, of course, they will proceed to the isolation and treatment centers. But then uh, for the old people who are in isolation, the release process is that you have, you must have two negative tests within 48 hours, not 24 hours, within 48 hours. And that, that is what we have deployed in all cases where we have released patients from the treatment centers. We are developing guidelines for home-based care for COVID-19. And once we are through with the guidelines, we'll be able to quickly bring the county health management teams uh, up, to, up to speed so that we can be able to manage mild cases at home. So far from the statistics that we have, Majority of our cases have been mild.